story is Joe, uh, President Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, getting off the plane right now, getting off Air Force One. They took off a few minutes late, but they landed right on time. Uh, they are set to be greeted by Governor General Mary Simon, uh, her husband, Whit Fraser, and then a, a kind of long delegation of Canadian politicians, including Deputy Prime Minister Chrystia Freeland, uh, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie, uh, President of the Treasury Board Mona Forche, uh, and uh, I believe Melanie Jolie's Parliamentary Secretary Rob Oliphant, as my colleague Michael Couture mentioned. Uh, they are just at the bottom of the stairs now. You can see some RCMP as well. There's a um, massive security detail everywhere, too. And you know the president just said, how you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. I, th I think that's what he said. Yeah, it looked like, if I'm reading lips, if I'm reading lips, and, there's, yeah. and there yeah. is uh, yeah. uh, the Right Honorable Mary Simon, our, our Governor General, and her husband, Whit Fraser, greeting the president. I think, uh, uh, um, Ambassador Heyman, you were telling me, it usually takes a while for President Biden. He likes to talk. He likes to talk. <laughs> his staff is, you know, knows it very well by now. But, you know, during his time as vice president, it was painful for some of his staff because he'd stop to any stranger along the way and start talking to them That's about right. their family, their mother, their pets, their dogs, and everything. And people would, you know, the staff would be sitting there like, seriously, I've got a head of state waiting for you around the corner. And, you know, it's just... Joe and you know he is president of the United States but he is also you know um, an affable kind generous attentive person to others and he's just you know we always used to talk about policy is that somebody you'd like to sit and have a beer with or have a conversation with or for him maybe have a scoop of ice cream ice with ice cream on the beach exactly. in Delaware <laughs> that's, that's right that's Joe Biden. And in this instance, it's probably not the end of the world if he's a bit late because he's just going to dinner at Rideau Cottage with the, the Prime Minister and, and Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, Trudeau, rather, the Prime Minister's wife. Uh, that's supposed to happen in about an hour and a half. But in the meantime, uh, he is going to go through the Canadian delegation. As you can see, he's still, he's still in conversation. He's still the first two, right? Yeah, he's still he's with the still, first two. He's still, Valid point. Right. Yeah, with uh, Governor General Mary Simon with and her husband. picture and doing all this. Yeah. And that's, this is... Uh, and this now is he's, the he's moved on to Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Christia Freeland, uh, of course, who took the lead uh, under the former president on the NAFTA negotiations, a, a familiar figure, I think, uh, to many Canadians on the, the uh, Canada-U.S. file. There's Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie greeting the, the president at the moment, um, and then a host of other uh, members of the Canadian delegation thereafter. Mike, tell us a little bit about what it's like there on the ground. I mean, uh, when you say that there's a lot of security, that is the understatement of the year, uh, Vashi, when you consider um, not only that, as you may see in the shot as well, the beast, which is the car that is known to take uh, the president around at any point, but when you consider uh, the number of security vehicles, police officers, uh, snipers on roofs, and the basic ground stop, as you had sort of described it, when the, uh, the the plane actually touched down, when Air Force One did touch down, uh, it is something to be seen. Uh, you know, you and I have been to a number of different international events and summits, and we know that when the president of the United States is involved, there is a lot more security uh, than if the president is not there. And certainly that is the case here today. Uh, obviously, the coordination between the Secret Service, the uh, RCMP, and multiple levels of police here in Ottawa just to make this happen. We know how much of the downtown core in Ottawa is on lockdown. Same here uh, when you consider all of the levels of security that we had to go through just to get here to this hangar for this greeting. Uh, I think it's just another sort of sign of the security and the importance of this visit of the president and, his, and the first lady.